it looks like a big change is coming to New World Crafting and I have to say I am personally very excited for it. So let me jump onto New World Database which by the way is an absolutely fantastic website I do recommend that you check it out and I'll show you what I initially dubbed the Golden Snitch but is in fact the Golden Scarab. So this is the item and you can quite clearly see it is a legendary item so let's not expect to see too many of these but it is probably a sign of things to come. And let's read it. A rare crafting material that when combined with timeless shards allows a crafter to select two perk items items that is the extent of this but the implications of that are pretty damn huge crafting for those of you who don't know in new world is pretty random at best you generally get to be able to pick one perk with the timeless shard or the patterns from the summer fur you can get two perks that are pre-selected in some patterns but really if you're trying to get the best perks you're going to want to like randomly have them picked well the more you can reduce that randomness the better and there are of course a couple of questions that remain unanswered right now the first thing that i thought about was if these are going to give you two perks which is all well and good is it going to affect the gear score of your crafted item because otherwise i don't think you're going to be able to use this with a stopwatch maybe they'll prove me wrong there but i don't think so which means you would still have maybe like a one in five or one in six chance of getting a legendary sure you'd be able to pick a two perk purple but that doesn't seem like it would be very good so i am sort of expecting and obviously there is no indication of this on this item here that it will probably guarantee to your legendary item as well therefore the third perk would be random now i haven't seen that confirmed maybe it's in here somewhere but it does look really interesting now when you look at some of the items that this is used in when it comes to the recipes let's say i pick one of these and we actually have a look at what's available it says a couple of different things one important thing to note here is that you need to have all of these ingredients so you need to have the timeless shards as well as the golden scarab so yeah that's the list that you're going to need here 25 iron guards and insignias three timeless shards of the chosen one and the golden scarab and obviously you'll need your materials and then when you mouse over it it says you'll get a three random perks and a random gem obviously you only get the third perk if it's over 600 now it does say here base gear score 500 so maybe this is affected as usual when it comes to your gear score which worries me a little bit because it sort of then implies you're only going to get a legendary one in six times unless something there has sort of been improved or changed i'm not 100 sure but yeah that seems a little bit unfortunate to me if that's the case and what is interesting is if you picked your two perks of your choice either like a weapon perk you probably wouldn't pick resilient as well because resilient is actually the most common perk that is going to be randomly selected with this it's actually going to come in at 17 percent of the time which i'm not very good at maths but maybe it's like a one in eight one in nine chance something like that so you'd probably just pick two perks that you want that aren't resilient and then hope that you get resilient but imagine that this was automatically gear score 600 and you were basically just rolling for that resilient chance and you'd have your perfect item that would be insane so maybe they're going to increase the gear score but maybe not make it a guaranteed 600 it's hard to say now one thing you might be wondering is where did these come from well i'm not 100 sure where two out of three of these are elite grave offerings and elite great offerings tier three large i'm assuming that that is like a brimstone sand specific like you know offering like it's probably a, in an elite area and you have to go over to the grave and it's like a loot box effectively it's probably though just like a, a an elite chest and an elite ancient chest now does that include all of the elite ancient chests in the game who knows if so maybe chest runs are back on the menu boys but overall this does what i sort of expected that we would get in brimstone sands and that is making gear a little bit more accessible for the casual players instead of the more hardcore players now sure this might actually be tailored towards the hardcore players at first because they're the ones who'll be getting all the the very very best gear but once they've all got the very very best gear well the golden scarab will probably be able to be bought at a significantly cheaper rate and then us peons and plebs can go ahead and buy them or even just buy the two perk items that are the off cuts you know what i mean that the people don't want so i think this is a good start i still think the crafting system as a whole is bad and i don't really like the randomness but diminishing that randomness and reducing it so that it's less random i think is a good thing and this is going to make a lot of people either very happy or very angry if you're somebody who's already in bis don't be angry that somebody else is going to be getting very good gear like what are you afraid to face them like just let them have good gear and let the people fight on the battlefield on an even playing field if they can get there let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this as soon as i find in game one of these or we see actual details of this obviously we'll probably show it off but this is very exciting let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you want to support the channel do consider becoming a youtube member that would really help have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye